Whether you're a competitive shooter, combative shooter, or you're someone protecting our streets, our country, or your family, it's absolutely critical to make sure you know how to move properly in and out of positions. How do you determine which is gonna be an easy exit or a hard exit? For me, it's simple. Can I successfully engage the large rectangle target while moving? Because essentially, that's what you're doing. If you're engaging one target while you're leaning out of that position, you're definitely moving on that particular target. So you want it to be larger and wider. However, on the smaller target there, can I successfully engage that while moving? Maybe, maybe not. On a consistent basis, I'm not gonna take that chance. So I'm gonna make sure I'm stable for a good accurate shot and then create my own momentum and explode out of that position. If I'm engaging two large targets from this first position, ideally I want to be able to fire while I'm exiting that position to save time. Anytime I can reduce movement and reduce time or do two things at once, it's going to be better than doing two things at two different times. So if I can be shooting as I'm leaving this position, that's going to save me time. So once I get my first shot, my second shot on my first target, as my pistol is transitioning to the second target, as I'm acquiring that sight picture, I'm just going to start to increase pressure into that knee or that interior leg into the direction that I'm going to be going into. As I'm doing that, my weight and my momentum is shifting and falling out of the box. And at some point, my exterior leg is going to cross over to catch me so I don't fall on my face. Now when that happens, I need to, be, I need to ensure that I keep a good sight picture down range and my shoulders are square onto the target. Because as this exterior leg begins to spin around, it's going to want to bring my shoulders with it. But I have to, again, ensure that my shoulders are square onto that target while my lower body is driving and kind of swinging around, exiting out of that position, I can keep my shoulders square to the target, which is going to give me an opportunity to continue to get accuracy on that target as I'm leaving that position. Now let's talk about the hard exit. Hard exit, again, is a more difficult shot. So if it's a more difficult shot, I want to make sure I'm balanced and precise to watch that sight lift off that particular target, drive to the next target, again, watch that sight lift off of that target completely flat-footed with, without distributing any weight one way or the other. And once I call a good successful shot down range at this point, to get explosive movement, I need to make sure I'm going to take up my interior leg off the ground and drive off of my exterior leg. So it looks something like this. Sights lift, look in the direction that I want to go in, strong foot, which will be my interior leg and into this direction, lifts off the ground, and my support leg is going to throw me out of the box. So essentially I'm just stepping into the direction I want to go into, but instead of just stepping, I'm going to also push with that exterior leg to give me a little more momentum, is what I like to call it, creating my own momentum as I explode out of that position. As soon as I'm done firing, whether I'm doing an easy exit or a hard exit, the first thing I'm going to do is look at a specific spot I want my trail leg to get to, so that way my entry leg is going to be prepped and ready. From a safety standpoint, what I'm doing in between positions is I'm going to ensure that my muzzle is always pointed in a safe direction and my finger is off the trigger. So as I'm moving to the right, my finger immediately goes onto the side of the frame and my sights are going to roll into the direction of travel. As my sights are rolling into the direction of travel, the gun's going to be placed high in front of my face for a couple of reasons. Again, from a safety standpoint, I won't accidentally sweep myself as I'm running. But also, as I enter this position, the gun is now up in front of my face and just about pointed at the target. So from this point, all I need to do is finish the extension and fire. So it's not only the fastest technique, but also the safest. With lateral movement to the right or left, that will also determine which foot I enter the position with. So if I'm moving to the right, I'm going to enter with my right foot. If I'm moving to the left, I'm going to enter with my left foot. So here, as I'm entering to the right, I want to make sure my right foot is entering the box first, because as I enter that box, my shoulders are already square to this position. So as soon as my foot, my trail leg that is, comes into the position, I'm ready to fire. Not only am I ready to fire, but my shoulders will not be moving whatsoever. However, if I came into the right position with my left foot first, as soon as I'm ready to fire, I have to wait for my upper body to swing all the way around. And as my upper body is swinging around, that's costing time and the sights are moving, making it a more difficult shot. So let me leave you with two of the most important things we talked about here today. The selection of the exit, whether it be the easy exit or the hard exit, as well as getting into position and being ready to shoot immediately when you get into that position and not waiting on the gun. However, the gun is waiting on you on target. Last, from a safety standpoint, be sure to always keep the pistol up in front of your face, sights rolled into the direction of travel, and finger off the trigger.
Hey, I'm Max Michelle, and I'm on Gun District. Why aren't you?